mm-hmm. that he's thinking with. Yep. But the part um, with calibrated that I personally feel is very unique is the testing protocol. Um, yep. Dive into that a little bit. Well, and so I think we've got to probably break that testing protocols into a couple segments. But yeah, we I've been frustrated with the term soil health. So <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen, <laughs> brother. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Yep. You know, there's a lot of different uh, caveats to it from structure to biodiversity. And so what does that mean for the farmer uh, that's going to bring him value? Mm-hmm. And so we've really went into looking at the biological profile of soils. And especially when we go into new geographies that I'm, yeah. I'm not familiar with and the farming practices, but we, we look at the pathogen load now. So our, you know, the protocol now is we pull our standard soil test, but let's look at our pathogen profile. What's, what's got problems. Um, but then also rudimentary biodiversity pathways within nutrients and how those are brought to the plant or exchange, solubilize, okay. mineralize that yep. thing. So yep. we can get a rough idea before we go in oh yeah, we can do this guy some good or wow, this soil's, this guy's doing a really good job with management. He's got a, yeah, know, there's a lot of things going on. Here. And I, I guarantee there's sometimes you're like, oh, this is a new one. <laughs> there, there is, there is. And so then on the backside of that, we'll implement our bio ag e product or try to find even foundational problems that are wrong, whether that's compaction or yeah. surface drainage. Um, sometimes there's some fundamentally things wrong that won't let that environment switch to a healthy soil. So within biology, you know, I think how God made it really yeah, is yep. there's a beneficial counterpart for every pathogen in the, in the soil. And, and it's just a, a numbers game of out competing that. So where we do good is is trying to do a little work on the front end to make sure we have success when we get to the field. Cause so many times we just go out and throw products out Yep. and uh, I'll give you an example. Like, so if, if just say you have crazy high fusarium or pythium levels in your yep. soil, my 32 ounce rate of a product that has controlling counterparts that will outcompete those. If I don't run a high enough rate for your threshold, it's going to look like we did nothing. Okay. So, okay. so that's one of the reasons we've kind of went to some of the parameter testing parameters to try to dial in this whole thing because i think sometimes there's a lot of really good products biological products maybe we ain't using at the right rate for what the conditions are at the field level that is so true and you know when you first brought up the the pathogen testing you know devil's advocate coming out yeah it's like in theory though if you have enough good guys it doesn't matter like that's what i would think yeah but then you bring in the perspective of having um Knowing where you're, how many bad guys you have is probably <laughs> just as important, uh, at least knowing that number, yeah. you know, because then you know how many good guys you need to put out there. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie, Clint. I was about ready to just, just bash that whole philosophy, <laughs> but that makes a lot of sense to me. You know, how many, how many bad guys you got out there? And that's a good starting point to know, okay, so if we go the biological route, if it's bio um, how much we need to put out to actually have success, you know? And, and you know, it's a uh, buy once, cry once type thing, you <laughs> yep, know? So, yep. you know, you, you, uh, but you know, as the cool thing about it, as we get in more places, our database grows internally. Mm-hmm. Now it's getting easier of saying, Ooh, you know, goes back to common sense type things. You, get, you know, if you're in a really flat piece, is your, is it tiled? Do you got tile in it? Yeah. What can you, can you dig a hole with a shovel easily? You know, do you yep. have compaction yep. issues? If we can identify some of those, those environments are easier to change than an environment that has fundamental issues that, that uh, aren't corrected yet. So with that, maybe we should transition, you know, into the part of, we wanted to cover, you know, what are those fa- foundational things? I know you mentioned compaction here, but yeah. what are, what are other things you're seeing? Um, Cause I feel like in the marketplace, people are looking for answers. Um, but I think half the knowledge is knowing when we got to fix ABC before even worrying about biologicals and or do this so your biological works better. So foundationally, what would that look like? Foundationally, I think, uh, you know, we talk about plants being, uh, what, 98% carbon, ho- hydrogen, yep. oxygen. Yep. I think it's the management of those. And in farmer terms, what that means is managing oxygen and water in your soil, infiltration yep. and storage, yep. and managing your residue properly. You get that right, a lot of other things come into play. So, but you know, I think myself where I've had failures, you know, I, I tried going, you know, 
we are we strip till men till went to cover crops well then you get a crazy wet spring or a wet harvest where you rut that field up you do things yep. to get the crop in and then maybe we don't come in and fix those issues um, and so i think uh, the biggest thing i see is we sometimes get our blinders on and we're like i'm going all cover crops i think that's great yeah but there's cases where maybe okay i've I planted this too wet. I VT'd it light to get my crop in. Yep. Then I rutted it up that harvest. Well, maybe we need to come in and reset, fix that issue, then go back to doing what we did. And the, and once I started adopting that with farmers I'm working with and on my own farm, yields came up of of just being more in tune with the problems, the 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 little little tweaks. So let's just say, um, just to help clue in the listeners even more. Yes, we don't want to go out there and rut something in, but if we do, what do we need to do to help get that field back to par? I think, uh, you know, for me, it's first you got to get it leveled up. But if if we don't get deep freezes to frack that out, mm -hmm. we may have to come in and run an inline ripper if you're on rolling ground or in our area. You may have to come in and rip that up, start it over, and then go back. And so where I have had my biggest failures, you know, uh, as a consultant or on my own farm, yep. it's been in situations where I just am pushing forward with this ideology and that's all I'm going to yep. do. And so for, for me, it's just little things like that. Yep. And, and you can go right back to it. Once you get that oxygen back in the soil, you get that, that alleviated. Yep. Poof. Now we can go back and, and get yield back again. Well, so. it's even crazy. Uh, one field, um, that I scouted, uh, it was a little wet when the sprayer went through. And, you know, by the time it hit tassel, I couldn't tell. Here at harvest time, I can tell exactly where that sprayer went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, it just goes back to the point of, yes, 98% of that plant, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Um, and like you said, how do we really, I, I think the one that we, for, I, I don't even want to say forget about, but we may overlook is the oxygen piece. Ooh, it's that, critical. It's a living plant. Yeah. You know, um, so how do we make sure that that oxygen is there? So any more fundamentals? I, I think that's it. pH is a big one for me to get okay. it close. Okay. But but other than that, I think it's the management of oxygen and water in your soil and yep. whatever it takes to get there. And then, of course, there is principles we're learning uh, within cover crop reduced tillage that will help build that aggregate structure to re, you know keep that going long term. But I think when we get that crazy environmental shift, hey, mm -hmm. let's let's make sure we address it. Um, and fix what we maybe a problem we created ourselves because of the uh, of a wet environment. Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content 